Today joining us in the kitchen is Chef Matt Levin. He's the chef and partner at the Square Peg Restaurant. What are we going to be making today in the kitchen? I see we've got quite an interesting array in front of us. We do. We're going to make something that's on the menu. Uh, we've been open for about six weeks, and this is by far and away the biggest seller on the menu. Well, I'm excited to, uh, to try it. It's my take on a grilled cheese and a macaroni and cheese mixed together. Uh, so we're going to make what's what we're calling a grilled cheese mac and cheese with tomato soup. So we're going to start with uh, a little bit of cream. We're going to start with the cheese sauce, basically. So we're going to infuse a little bit of herbs. Okay. This is a little bit of fresh thyme. So you some threw cream. some salt in there too to kind of just a little bit of salt it. to get it going. We're mm -hmm. going to use American cheese, so there's a fair amount a of salt, salt in there, yep. so we don't want to go crazy. Okay. Uh, we're also going to throw some of the Dorote uh, garlic inside as great. well. One of the little cubes of garlic. Those are great. Those little cubes are actually just one clove of garlic. It's already been minced up for you, so you can pop it right in, and not even have to worry about all the dirty work. It takes all the uh, all the labor out of it yeah, for exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. They pop right out. They pop right out. You got it. Now I don't want to get this beautiful outfit dirty that I got from Knitwit, so I'm going to slip my apron on here because I know we might get a little messy today. Yeah, I would have gotten more dressed up if I knew you would have looked so well, nice. Well, I know. So. You look nice, though. I like the black. I appreciate that. <laughs> a little bit of pepper as well into the cream. So we're just going to let those herbs infuse in there a little. We're going to let the herbs infuse, uh, heat up a little bit, and then, like I said, we're just going to add a little bit of American cheese to that. So we have some water that's also started to come up to a boil. We'll just throw that right inside of the water. All right. Kind of let that marry together. And then we're going to serve this with a tomato soup, just a little bit of olive oil okay. inside of the pan. And we don't want to get any color on this because we're just not trying to... So keep a lower heat. Keep a lower heat, really just trying to sweat it out a little okay. bit. So once Release gets, all the flavors. Exactly. A little cool. bit of white onion, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of red pepper as well. Okay. And then once the, uh, the cream's starting to come up, we can start to melt a little bit of cheese through it. Really simple white American cheese. It's just going to tear it in or... Tear it in and no, lay it right no inside. No need to cut it at all. No Very need. accessible. Everybody has American cheese in their fridge. And that's, that's kind of how I like my, my, uh, my grilled cheese with American hey, cheese, too. You so. can't go wrong with anything American. You can't. <laughs> We're sweating out good? Yep, those are good. Do you want me to put a little salt in there? Uh, you can put a little bit of salt, but if you want to add uh, about a half of that tomato juice. Okay. About the same with those whole peeled tomatoes. Actually, you can put all those whole peeled tomatoes in there. All right. And the one thing, I can't believe I'm going to say this on television, but the key ingredient in this soup Ketchup. 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 Why ketchup? Uh, it has a sweetness and it has great okay. viscosity and it kind mm -hmm. of just ma uh, it marries the soup well. It gives awesome. it, it gives a nice smooth texture. Again into the freezer. This time for the Durot basil. Nice. Tomato and basil classic combination. Exactly. Can't go wrong there. So we'll pop out two of these. Beautiful little individually these are portioned. Aren't they great? Super, super convenient. Mm -hmm. Already minced up so it'll just melt exactly. in there nicely. The Duros, actually, those come from Israel. The best herbs come from Israel. It's true, they do. You they see it all the time. Absolutely do. Mm -hmm. Anytime that I order produce, I always order Israeli mm -hmm. herbs. At this point, just take some of the pasta out of the water, drain as much of it as we can. Mm -hmm. We don't want too much liquid in there. We don't. And then the sauce that we made with the cheese, with the herbs, the garlic, we're going to strain that over the hot pasta. Out. Beautiful. So this will go right inside of the refrigerator. It sets up into Look a block that. of, of American well cheese again up. with pasta throughout. So, yeah. so to build the sandwiches, straight up American as we go. American cheese uh, on the, classic the pasta, white bread. classic white bread, slice of American cheese. This just kind of helps glue it all together. Okay. Our piece of at this point, what's another mac little macaroni? Extra slice of cheese, yeah, go know? big or go home. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so for the sandwiches themselves, so you really just, just cook the soup until the vegetables are soft. If it's two in the morning and you're trying to keep your night going, add a little splash of vodka to it. And that never hurt. Perfect. Never <laughs> hurt anybody. So in a pan, a little bit of butter. All right. Actually, I don't know if we'd be able to fit two in here, but we can. We can do it. So let's talk about the menu over at Square Peg. Let's do it. We are uh, like a modern take on a diner. Okay. Um, things like, uh, like the mac and cheese, grilled cheese, mm -hmm. fried chicken. So you like to take kind of comfort food classics and put your own little chef spin on them. Yeah, we do a meatloaf, but there's the sauce inside is based mm -hmm. in Coca-Cola. So there's just, you know, nice. it's things that you would recognize anywhere, but just done a little bit different right. with, a with a twist. So we're going to drop this right into the oven. All right. 375 degrees. So soup's good. All right. Vegetables nice and soft. Vegetables are nice and soft. We're going to add this to the blender. All right. We'll just start by pulsing it too. You see how much it, mm -hmm. it, it, it rises. Now, do you strain Great that soup. also, or you just we, do it as this is? This does get strained. Okay. Um, we get strained just like this. This is our finished mm -hmm. product of the soup. 
a little bit of soup and tar cup. Wow, look at that. And the soup kind of acts as both a soup as well as a dipping sauce. So the idea is yep. kind of to, to put the sandwich, dip it into it, and take a bite. That's the best way to do it. Agreed. <laughs> Come over to the oven, get our mac and cheese. Such a vibrant orange. I can't believe it changed color so drastically. Nice triangles of mac and cheese. You see it's nice and oozy. Oh, the, the ooziness is outrageous. I can see it just sliding down the sides. Well, I can't wait to dig into this awesome looking mac and cheese, grilled cheese. Super. So why don't you pass me one of those plates? I'll take that. Thank you. Let's give this a try. Yes. I'm curious as to what you think. Oh, I already know I'm going to like it. <laughs> How can you not? So you, you think I should go for the dunk I, I method? I think you go right for the dunk. Yeah, I think so too. Mmm. This is really good, fun food. And you know what I taste the most in here is that little bit of red pepper. A little bit, it mm -hmm. brings it out. And again, the carrot adds a little bit of sweetness. The sweetness, for absolutely. It rounds it out. This is amazing. I can see why this is your best seller right now. Thank I can't you. wait to come to, try, to Square Peg and try the rest of your food. I appreciate it. This has been great. Thank, Thank you so much for welcome. being with us today. Thanks for having me. Come on, we cheers. Cheers.